Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to understand decomposition pattern. Decomposition pattern is one of the important pattern that we have to consider before starting designing our microservice architecture. Or as let's say if you want to migrate your monolithic architecture to microservice architecture and even at that time decomposition pattern is the important pattern that we have to consider and why it is important pattern to consider. Let's take an example and try to understand. So when you talk about decomposition pattern, we have two different types decomposition by business or by domain. And the second one is decomposition by subdomain, right? Let's take an example. Uh, when you talk about e-commerce application, if you see typically payment, inventory, order management, shipping, there are many, you know, uh, areas. But let's consider these are the four areas which I identified. In my case, in, in let me put it in a simple way, right? So I want to build an e-commerce e application and I identified these four different domains are crucial for me, right? Their payment, inventory, order management, and shipping, right? And if you decompose it, or if you can, if you can go a little bit granular, right? When you talk about payment, we have different payment methods. We have, you know, payment tracking. When you talk about inventory, you know, we have inventory availability. Uh, many many things under inventory. Similarly, order management, shipping, right? And now, if you see whatever you see here right under payment payment methods and payment tracking similarly inventory and order management shipping these things are called decomposition by subdomain and whatever you see this payments inventory order management shipping is decomposition by business so now you understand right before we build a microservice architecture, before we decide how many microservices we need, we have to understand the business, right? So we have to divide our business into two different parts. One is based on the main domain, in our case, payments, inventory, order management, shipping. After this, we need to go a little bit granular called based on the subdomain. Like as we see in, in case of payments, we have different payment methods and payment tracking, right? Hope you understand, right? The importance of decomposition pattern. So, so if you want to, if you, if you, if you want to apply this design pattern, first thing is we have to be very good at the business. We have to understand the business, right? Then only we can decompose our application in our case e-commerce into a main domain which is called maybe a business and the subdomain. So if, if we plan this pattern in a perfect manner, then yes, we'll have a perfect microservice architecture, right? Maybe you can consider it as a blueprint, right? The high level print before we started designing our microservice architecture or before we started building our microservices, right? How many microservices you need under payment, okay? Under inventory management, how many microservices I need? Right. Hope you understand, right? The, the importance of de decomposition pattern. So hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.